So, hello, I'm Lucille Dahan, and um, I would like to uh, b talk about uh, the use of Everix as a core build-up technique. Yeah, the endodontic chitlid tooth is uh, very fragile due to the loss of substance, and um, to restore it, we have to select the best material capable to resist to the fracture. Everix bulk is like a, another composite, so you have to clean, to etch, and to use an adhesive, like universal adhesive. Um, in the root canal, like uh, in the coronal part of the restoration. So after your root canal treatment, um, you can use it only in the pulp chamber or into the canal, uh, like a bulk technique, would you, you put the Everix without any uh, post, and you do it in the root canal and in the core, in the core uh, restoration, or you can use it with a glass fiber post, and uh, the Everix is used like a looting material. Because I do the literature, and it seems to be the uh, best material to restore the endodontically treated tooth. Um, the, the, fracture, the resistance of the fracture is better with a short fiber uh, resin composite. Uh, when you compare to the, uh, to the fiber resin composite, the classic one. Yeah, you have to choose the Everix bulk forever because it's more translucent, so you can uh, cure better than the Dantin one. And uh, you have to uh, to do very uh, carefully. You you have to put uh, you have to use your micro brush in order to avoid uh, bubbles or of a voice void. And um, you have to increase the time of uh, of a light cure because um, when you are um, in the depth of the in the deep part of the canal, the the light is difficult to reach the, this part, so you have to increase the time, uh, like uh, 80 seconds instead of 20 seconds, to, uh, in order to achieve a, a proper, a proper uh, polymerization. In my opinion, there are uh, three tips. Uh, first of all, you have to, pay, uh, to select uh, the bulk shade instead of the dentin shade because it's more translucent. So if you like your, it's uh, better if you have a translucent material, uh, especially in the deep part of the canal. And um, the bulk shell um, don't need to do uh, to don't need a very small layer. You can uh, you can do four or five millimeter layers, and, and it's safe. So it's better uh, when you you have to fill the root uh, root parts. And the second one is uh, to use a micro brush to place it in order to avoid the bubbles of, uh, or voids. And uh, the, the last one is uh, to increase the time of light cure in order to achieve a correct polymerization.